Transfer Learning for Beginners, A Complete Guide. Okay, so imagine that you're in school and you're learning a bunch of different subjects like math, science, history, and language arts. Each subject is like a different task that you have to learn how to do, and each one requires different skills and knowledge. Similarly, in the field of artificial intelligence, there are different tasks that machines can learn to do, like recognizing images, understanding language, or making predictions. And just like you can use the skills and knowledge you learn in one subject to help you with another subject, we can use the skills and knowledge that a machine learns from one task to help it learn another task. This process is called transfer learning. For example, if a machine is trained to recognize images of animals, it can use that knowledge to also recognize images of insects because both tasks require understanding of shapes and patterns. So, instead of starting from scratch, it can start with a head start on the new task. Transfer learning is used in many applications, such as natural language processing, computer vision, speech recognition and others. It is especially useful when we have a limited amount of data to train a model on a new task, and can help improve the performance and speed up training. There are several steps to implement transfer learning. Choose a pre-trained model. First, you will need to choose a pre-trained model that has already learned to perform a task similar to the one you want to perform. For example, if you want to train a model to recognize images of animals, you might choose a pre-trained model that has already been trained to recognize objects in general. Fine-tune the model. Next, you will need to fine-tune the pre-trained model to adapt it to your specific task. This can involve retraining some or all of the model's layers using your own dataset. Freeze and unfreeze layers. In this step, you can decide which layers of the pre-trained model you want to keep, freeze, and which ones you want to update, unfreeze. Typically, you would keep the lower layers that have learned general features, and update the higher layers that have learned task-specific features. Train the model. Once you have fine-tuned and frozen, unfrozen the appropriate layers, you can train the model on your task-specific dataset. Evaluate the model. Finally, you will need to evaluate the performance of the fine-tuned model on a test dataset to see how well it can perform the task you are interested in. It's worth noting that the exact steps may vary depending on the specific task and the pre-trained model you are using.